Good morning. This Sunday morning, I'm going to preach, and I'm going to touch on the uh, the heart of God, the Father. It is really amazing scripture that I I found in、uh, Hosea, 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 eleven verse one onwards. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. Now this is interesting. Out of Egypt I called my son. That son obviously referred to Israel. So God called Israel as His son in the Old Testament. So how did God call His son? God called His son out of Egypt through Moses in the Book of Exodus, performed the greatest miracles humanity has ever seen. The entire Red Sea was. Divided, split, for three million Jews to walk over on dry ground across the Red Sea. God sent a huge east wind and blew the sea until the sea was promptly divided, and God delivered all Israel out of the bondage of darkness and slavery of Egypt. Now. And it's interesting. Also, God called His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, out of Egypt too. So almost prophetically, running in parallel, you know. But anyhow, verse two says, "The more they were called, the more they went away. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning offerings to idols. The more they are called, the more they went away." This is a very, very Piercing kind of a statement from God, a Bible verse from the Lord. Because the more God called us, you can apply everything is written here about Israel, replace that with us today. If you are a Christian, okay. So it will be the church because the church is the real, real children of Abraham by faith in Christ. All right. So the more they were called, the more they went away. That's what happened to Egypt. Ah,、uh, when what happened to Israel at that time? They rebelled against God again and again and again, so Moses had a real tough time handling them. So the calling of God was met with much resistance and much rebellion by the、uh, by the depravity of the of the flesh. So you can apply that to us today. The more God called us, the more we go away. That's kind of a storyline. For many many Christians today, obviously the majority of the Christians, I think and I hope, do not do that. In fact, we, the more God calls, yes, sometimes we do, you know, walk away, fall, a、uh, uh, uh, go away temporarily, shortly, but eventually, the absolute majority come back to God. But there are some, however, they fall into the、uh, the tragedy of deconstruction and lost their faith. So we won't go there now. <coughs> well, let's talk about. So we got to be、uh, cognizant of the danger. Even though God called us, so the Bible says here, the more they called, they walked away. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning offerings to idols. The Baals are the idols at that time. They kept sacrificing to them. It's a bit like us today. The more God calls, the more we turn to the our idols. What are our idols? Our idols today are the things that make us confident. We feel we can trust in them. Our career, our money, absolutely. You know, in a way, it is true. But they are not as strong as God. Augustine called it the disordered love. Not that we don't love God; it's just that we love God secondarily, below, below the、uh, riches of this world. You know, God, the Lord. The Lord never asks us to despise money, our career. We need the career. We need finance to feed our family, to pay our mortgage, to pay our cars, etc., to send our kids to school, college fees, etc. You know, I do think that we need to be cognizant of that. However, the danger is the love of money will let it over overcrowd us. See verse three. Even though they keep walking away. Verse three, the Bible says, "Yet it was I." This is the Lord speaking, God speaking. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, 
I took them by the arms, but they didn't know I healed them. What a passion, what a, what a tender language right here, right? The more God called them, they walked, the more they walked away. And he started with the Israel with the child. I loved him. God loves you, folks. God loves me. God loves us who believe in Christ Jesus. And it says, it was, it was I who taught Ephraim, put your name in there, your church in there, to walk. I took them by the arms, but they did not heal them. God took us by our arms and God healed us, but we didn't know. Healing here can be emotional, spiritual, physical. You know, there are tons of times God has healed me. I want to give thanks and, and just acknowledge that. Not just physically healed me, but emotionally and spiritually. The Lord is my rock and refuge. I can't say enough that how many times I run to Him every day. Every day I read the book of Psalms, saturate myself with the book of Psalms. Psalms plus other scriptures. You must read the Psalms every day, like Calvin said. Verse 4, I led them with cords of kindness, with the bands of love. Now I became as to them as one who eases the yoke on their jaws. I bent down to feed them. Did you hear the language? I bent down to feed them. You know, we are like little toddlers, kids. God, the Father, bent down and feed us. That's our God. You see the tender language here? God led us with the cords of kindness of the bands of love. That is His name, kindness and love. Hopefully, He doesn't have to pull out the rod of discipline, you know, that much. But overarching theme of God leading us is kindness and love. Everybody loves it. But nobody knows, not a lot of people know that. That's why I need to preach it. People need to preach it and share it and proclaim to the world, you know. Don't run to the world for, uh, for love, to a, to a girlfriend, a woman, or wife for love. Yes, you do, but primarily run to the Lord for love, for kindness. If you don't get the love from the Lord our God, your wife or your girlfriend's love will never fulfill you or your boyfriend or your husband. It will be hard. It will be impossible. Ultimately, okay? That's why you see divorces happening so much. It is it's saddening. It's, it's grieving. They shall not return to the land uh, of Egypt, but Assyria shall be the king because they refuse to return to me. You see, God disciplined them, punished them. The sword shall rage the cities, consume the bars, and devour them because of their own counsels. My people are bent, are bent on turn, turning away from me. And though they call out to the Most High, that is to the Most High of the idols, He should not raise them up. Now verse 8 is the one I really want to share. How can I give you up, O Ephraim, O Israel, O the church, O you and I? How can I hand you over, O Israel? Do you see that? O, 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 the language is from His heart, it's from God's heart. O Israel. How can I give you up, O oh, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, O oh, Israel? Hear it clear and hear it well, my friends. How can I make you like um, Atma? How can I treat you like Zeboim? My heart records within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. How can I treat you as like those outcasts? My heart records within me. That's God speaking. I don't know how intimate and how tender language that reveals of God to you and I today. I don't know, is there any way to, to reveal more? I, I could just even think, only think of one way that reveals more of that, and that's on the cross. When Jesus died and bleed and say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. What a beautiful, powerful, just heart-wrenching language, but this, you know, Hosea 11 says, my heart records within me. People think that God is almighty. He's, he's uh, bulletproof. He's emotion-proof. He's stoic. Okay, let me tell you this. The last thing you want to call God is stoic. He's not. He's full of emotions. He burns with wrath. He burns with anger. He loves you passionately. He loves you with a tender heart. My heart records. 
I think even a lover, a man of the a man wouldn't even be able to to uh, describe that wealth for his love or for his girlfriend or wife or woman. See, my heart records with him. My compassions grow warm and tender. It's just that the, this is the context of God disciplining his son Israel, and the more he disciplined them, let them be be beaten up, ravished by the enemies. God feels in his heart. His tender heart and everything so that people will know to come back to him all right my time is up let's talk again